Excuse me, the dog. All right, we're going to start this rant a second time because five minutes into this rant of, about my day-to-day, -day, these, these new batteries that I just got from Amazon about three weeks ago, fully charged, put in the camera, less than five minutes later, the camera shuts down. So I'm going to start this rant the second time. So uh, it is now soon to be a frosty uh, autumn night here at Bugs in a Jar Farm, my last Sunday night at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Uh, that would be Sunday, October 20th, 2024. And... Uh, so this is how my day went today, this absolutely spectacularly gorgeous Sunday here in the end times and the collapse of everything. So I wake up this morning, this absolutely gorgeous morning. Uh, it's sunshine filtering all in through the windows and the and then my little toasty warm tiny house and uh, thinking about, you know, uh, closing this place down for the winter and stuff, and uh, I'm thinking I'm going to get out and, and enjoy a nice uh, hot cup of planet-saving organic coffee. Uh, so, I can't believe the, the camera hadn't shut off. So, I get up. And, and, and I tell myself, uh, Hammond, just, just, just don't even open that computer. Just go out, uh, have a nice, uh, enjoyable cup of coffee on a beautiful Sunday morning, uh, and, and, and deal with that goddamn uh, computer later. But no, you know how it is. Before I even have my first cup of coffee, I, I open up my computer. And there is someone trying to book a tiny house for December 19th. <clears throat> Which would normally be fine and dandy, but there's one problem. I'm not going to be here on December 19th. I am going to be in Florida. And as I do every year, as I've done for the past three years, a few weeks ago I spent about an hour with this vacation rental support person. And you have to do this with each separate tiny house. So we had to go through this process three times of, uh, of shutting down uh, the, you know, the calendar uh, for, you, you can do it for six months, spend all of this time going through this damn hassle, shutting down uh, bugs in a jar farm for the winter. Uh, everything's fine from my end. They say everything is fine. As recently as like five days ago, I was on the calendar and confirmed that everything was shut down for the win uh, for the winter. Uh, I get up this morning. I turn on that computer, and there is someone trying to book a uh, blue dragon for December 19th, and I emailed him back and said, sorry, I, I said, we are closed. Uh, I don't know why uh, you're seeing this is available, and he, and, and he emails me back. He goes, it's showing very much available on December 19th. I go and I look at that calendar. Completely all of that work that we did, just completely erased, just gone. Uh, it, it's showing Bugs in a Jar Farm is wide open every day this winter. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm mad as a, a hornet, so I need to call support. So I reach for my Verizon smartphone, which has been on this auto pay, uh, on, on this uh, debit card. For three years, three years, this is actually the 36th payment. You know, it's on auto pay on this, uh, on this debit card. And 
there's never been a hitch. So I go to call Airbnb, the, the vacation rental uh, support person on the, uh, on the Verizon phone, and, and I get this weird message that my account has been temporarily closed because they did not receive payment this month. For the first time ever, uh, they did not receive payment, uh, and uh, I'm fucked. I, I have no phone, so I have no way to call the vacation rental support place because the uh, the the phone uh, is shut down. So I get on a Sunday morning. So at least I I do get up and make my coffee, and and so it was supposed to be a beautiful restful time back on my new sunny deck, I, uh, I spent one hour, one hour uh, th this morning trying to figure out what the fuck is going on with this debit card. And, and, and the woman uh, is telling me everything, you know, a complete fucking mystery. We, we had no idea what's going on with this debit card. Uh, and, and, and finally, she just, uh, she gives up and, and uh, says, well, uh, let's at least get your phone back on uh, for the next 30 days. And then you just have to take your phone in and, and talk to a real human at a Verizon store. But you can do that anytime in the next 30 days. She goes, let's make a one-time payment on your card. So we tried to make a one-time payment. No fucking way that I could even make a one-time payment on this card that they have been using for three years. So now, of course, I'm in an absolute panic over the card. What, what the hell is going on uh, with, 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 with this debit card? So I use another card that they've never used in five minutes, I'm back. I have my phone back for a month. Uh, that was one hour so I could get my phone to call the support and, 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 and start all that shit and going on for a, another half hour. So uh, I, my, my, my entire morning completely ruined. Uh, meanwhile, uh, you guys might remember Grant Lee. He's here to help me saw up this damn apple tree, waiting around with his thumb up my ass while I'm dealing with all of this bullshit uh, on, on, on these things that, that, that have broken down. Uh, we get over there. Uh, fortunately, we have two saws. And we start signing and go, what the hell is going on with this saw and the and the 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 oil, the, the bar oil cap on the reservoir is gone. Uh, no oil. I probably burned up the damn chain. So we're down a saw. Uh, so so the, 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 the saw is down for the day. Fortunately we, we had two saws. So we do all of this. So uh, I, owe, I owe Grant $100, and uh, since my car, had, my truck uh, has basically no brakes on it, uh, we take his car, so we're leaving here, heading to the bank. You know, there's only one ATM in Canada, and I said, uh, I, 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 I said, well, dude, I said, with the, day, the way my day is going, won't it be hilarious? if we pull up to that fucking ATM and it's out of order. So we drive six miles to Candor so I can get him paid uh, for his uh, work today, pull up in front of the fucking ATM, sorry, temporarily out of service. We apologize for any inconvenience. You know, the, the, the collapse of civilization, I, I, this is one fucking Sunday, one Sunday, that uh, the, the Airbnb rental uh, business 
Uh, they have no idea what the hell happened with that. Uh, everything was fine, then it wasn't. Uh, uh, Verizon, uh, it goes down. They have no idea what the hell is going on uh, w w with my account at Verizon. Uh, what the hell happened? A complete mystery. Uh, I don't know what the hell happened with that chainsaw. And uh, then we go down, the fucking ATM is broken. Uh, and, 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 and then I, I try to do this rant, and the camera shuts down. Uh, then, of course, tomorrow, I get to get in that fucking gas-sucking truck, uh, spend this beautiful day. It's going to be 78 degrees tomorrow here. Absolutely spectacularly gorgeous day. I'm going to spend another fucking day of my life waiting around a mechanic shop uh, paying, uh, who is this, a, a third mechanic. If I get out of there for $200, I'll be shocked. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what the hell is going on with the brakes in these truck in, in, in this fucking truck? Maybe the third mechanic is the charm. There's no brake light on, at least. Uh, you know, it's a little bit ironic. The whole time that fucking brake light was on for those three weeks, my brakes were working fine. I get the brake light off my truck. And within 24 hours, I lose my brakes, but at least I don't have that fucking brake light on, even though I have no brakes. Then it's time to get new tires on the goddamn uh, trailer so I can take my gator down there. Good fucking God, people. Anyway, I guess I'm done binging on Graham Hancock, so I'll have to find something else to binge on on Netflix. I will not be one bit surprised if I go on Netflix and it's saying, sorry, Netflix temporarily unavailable. You gotta love Global Industrial Civilization. Bye, guys. Ugh. Let's see. Seven by seven foot tiny house. <laughs> Counting down the nights.